So when my brother-in-law brought me this 351 Windsor to work on, he was hoping that the issue was going to be easy to fix and <laughs> cheap. But uh, turns out um, we're, we're a little bit past that. So the story on this engine was it was supposedly rebuilt, but it had been sitting, sitting for a little while. But the rebuild was good. It was a fresh rebuild. So when I got the engine rotated on the engine stand and I started taking my rod caps off, I looked at the bearings and I realized that they were very excessively worn. This one's an anomaly. It's not as worn, but most of them look like that. You can see straight through to the copper. Now bearings are supposed to be a press fit. So as I push here on the sides of the bearings, you can see there's no real movement laterally or uh, side to side and the bearing's really tight and nice in there. This bearing, on the other hand, if I pull it all the way snug one side, you can see all the ways that this bearing has deformed. So this is a problem because actually when I pulled this rod cap off, this bearing was still stuck to the crankshaft. It had deformed so much that it was no longer sitting like it was supposed to in the, in the cap here, but it was actually clamped on to the crankshaft. How in the world this engine did not spin, I do not know. Somebody must have uh, let off the throttle right at the right time and shut this thing down right before critical failure. So in the next video, we're going to talk about this, what causes this and why it's so bad and, you know, what we can do to kind of prevent this.